Mr. Linux Live here with the video on Fadun 2 2012.2. Um, this release um, came out earlier this year, I know. Um, but Fadun 2 is a lightweight and fun Linux distribution. Um, Fadun 2's goal is basically to provide an awesomely pleasing experience with up to date applications. Um, making it great for your desktop, your laptop, your netbook, and also your nettop. Um, laptop and netbook users will find that um, you will get more battery use up to 30% or more than other Linux distributions. Another great benefit um, is that Fadun 2 is a rolling release distribution. Um, after installing from their quarterly release media, you don't have to worry about reinstalling again um, in a few months to benefit from their latest software available. You can also visit them at fadun2.org. So yeah, let's get into the OS itself now. Alright, so we're now at the, the, um, the main desktop. Um, first of all, it comes with a Vunt Window Manager as a stock, um, which isn't surprising at all. Um, so in the dock, you get Chromium, um, Google Mail, um, Banshee Media Player, and VLC. Okay, trash. Um, in applications, I'm just gonna scroll through here so you can see what it is. Yeah, it is a Vunt Window Manager. Okay. Under Internet. Um, Dropbox does come pre-installed also. And Office, you don't get LibreOffice or anything. You simply get Google Docs, you know, which is great. Okay. Banshee Media Player, Brazerio, this um, cheese is your webcam, VLC, system tools. Alrighty. Um if we if we right click on the desktop, you get create folder, um, create launcher, create desktop. I mean document, I'm sorry. Open terminal, organize desktop by name, keep a line, select all, and change desktop background, which I'm going to click on now. Okay, so here you can change your desktop. I mean, you can change your desk, your desktop's background, and also change your themes and your fonts. Um, basically, it doesn't come with much. It does. It's, it's basically for users that want to just browse the internet, um, maybe type up some documents, you know, do your, your everyday computer um, uses, but if you're doing something major, you wouldn't want this OS unless you install some more packages. Um, so let's see, what software center does it come with? Or does it come with one? Um, I don't see one. Or maybe I'm looking over it. Okay, I do see software update, um, software sources. Okay, here we go. Add or remove software. Well, yeah, I think since it's a twist between Fedora and the twist between Ubuntu, it should offer the Ubuntu Software Center. Uh, just my opinion. You know, not really, but you know, they should. I think. Um, well. Thanks for having a look at this video, not this video, but this distro with me. See y'all later.